you always know it was my grandpa yeah. because my grandpa Papa. he built a whole house out of wood about this long what? <laughs> yeah yeah see all the little boards oh wow. yeah it's all just whatever it's all whatever i mean honestly the first house he ever bit, built probably had that i lived in probably had 500 pounds of nails in it and, <laughs> you know and, put the nails out of the ones that had that weird looking yeah. ones those things yeah and he would take three boards and nail two of them put like two and nail one on the side for a stud and, oh, really? and cool. they actually moved that house from in wiggins all the way out to where i lived in the country and the guy said that's the sturdiest house i've ever moved wow. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. Right here today, I have a table here that belonged to my grandfather. Uh, he was a cobbler. Um, this table has been in the family for many, 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 many decades. I mean, it's been here for a long time. And uh, finally, um, my mother had passed away. It was her dad that was a cobbler. And I went and got the table out of the old shed. And uh, I will try to refinish it. We like the old blue and, you know, different colored look up under here. Uh, my grandfather had a galvanized top put on it, and it's kind of gotten in bad shape from sitting in the shed for so many decades. And I'm going to try to take some rust tough uh, enamel spray here, then put the uh, gray coating back on it for protection. And then for the blue and white part right down here, we're going to take the uh, Minwax Hellman's uh, urethane. Uh, sunlight, rain, and moisture resistant, temperature changes and all that. We're going to put that on the, uh, the blue part down here to try to preserve it because we don't want to really do away with that look. We like that look. And um, we want to try to redo the top, take care of it. And we got a lot of sanding to do on the top because it's got a lot of, it's, over the years, it's just got a lot of stuff in it. So we're going to try to redo that and actually... Uh, Spray, respray the top of it, and make it look nice again, and then seal the bottom of it up, and try to uh, keep this table in its original condition as much as possible, so we can use it here on our homestead. This one will eventually go over to our candy corn uh, cabin and stay over there. Um, so that's one reason we're wanting to try to get it in as good a shape as we can, um, is to take it over to the cabin and be able to use it over there on the porch, where we'll probably keep it. If we have gatherings over there or something with different groups of people or have friends over, it's a good place we'll be able to sit down and eat and different things like that. So, guys, this is one thing it's all about for us here at our homestead is, is refurbishing old things and kind of like keeping family heirlooms going because that's a pretty big deal with me is family heirlooms. Even though my family didn't really look into much of that, um, we probably you know I, I probably anyway me personally let me say that my family love the old family heirlooms so we're going to try to take care of this one and keep it going as long as we can and maybe pass it down to my kids uh, in the future sometime so thank you guys from deep south homestead